Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with Matthew Bonin from Yellow. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> you brought us a very hotly anticipated game, which is Kanagawa, which, uh, if tell, correct me if I'm wrong, um, is about Japanese paintings. Yes. Japanese painting. It's a game uh, from Bruno Catala and Charles Chevalier. Two big names in the industry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's actually the first game uh, from the artist Jade Mosh. Uh, she, um, she used to do personal projects but never board games. So uh, we were happy to find her, we find her on the internet and it, uh, <laughs> uh, her art style was exactly what we were looking for. So <laughs> we are we're so, so glad to have her on the, on the game. <laughs> so give us a quick overview of what we're trying to accomplish. So we, in Kanagawa you're trying to paint the most beautiful painting in front of you. Um, and uh, to do so you're going to have to learn new skills and uh, to uh, take cards from the, the school board here. So it's a small bamboo. I was going to say, if people can't see this on camera, that this is not a cardboard no. thing. This is actually made out of bamboo. Yeah, and so. you just roll it up and, uh, to, to uh, put it in a box. Uh, and so at the beginning of the game, you're going to uh, put cards, as many cards as players, on the first row. You know, the cards. So we'll save two players, since it's you and yeah. me. OK. So two, like this. Okay. Uh, if we were three, uh, I would put the the card on the red space face down. Okay, so the the all the cards on the red space spaces go face down. Okay, uh, but on the back you have an, an inch of, of what can be on, on the card. Uh, and then so we're going to uh, choose either to pick one card or to wait to get more cards. So if there's a card that really is interesting for you now you may want to take it uh, going by by uh, game order of course it's not a, a quickness game uh, <laughs> uh, or you may yeah, so you may want to take it if you're afraid that i'm gonna take it at my uh, on my turn or but you may want to wait a little longer to get more cards because when we both decided uh, if we uh, take a card or not we're gonna add more on the columns that were not taken by any players okay so in that case would go like this. Face down, since it's on a red square. So if you were the first player, I think I would like to, to take cards now, because uh, if I don't, I know that I won't have the choice uh, next turn, because you'll be first to choose. Right. Uh, even if there's three cards like this, you will, you will be the first to choose. Uh, so, so you really have to decide if you want to be greedy and get more cards, or if you really want to uh, play it safe and take the cards you want uh, as soon as possible. And I imagine since we're placing some of them face down, that it's a mix that you might not be exactly sure what you're getting versus exactly. maybe knowing having the two face up. Mm. Exactly. Uh, so when you take cards, and actually I, I prepared my example for three players, so, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so when you take cards, you have to place them in front of you immediately, okay, before the other players uh, have a chance to do anything else. Uh, so you can place them in um, in two ways. And here we were actually speaking that we wanted to make sure that we could yeah. kind of show how to place it, so we'll put our mat up to the side. So uh, two ways to play the cards. You can either uh, place them in your painting, you know, to, to continue your painting, but for that, you have to uh, master the, the right skill to paint the background. The background is the little uh, colored dot here, and it's also the background of the, of the illustration, okay? And so to, to be able to paint this, uh, you must have the right, the same symbol here in your workshop. This is your workshop, okay? And you must have one of your little brushes <laughs> on the space to activate it. You start with two brushes, and the ability to move one brushes per turn. So if you have, let's say, more of those later in the game, and you both have on the, on the green dots, you could move one to paint something blue. And it looks as though different players are going to start with a different yes, option. Yes, di different option and different season here, and I'll explain uh, the, the, the importance later. Uh, so, let me find a, a blue one. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, here. So, if the cards I picked were actually those, I would have the choice 
between placing this one in my painting by activating this one and then I couldn't uh, paint the other ones because I don't have any oh I could do that actually right that's and then I, I paint this one for example or I could decide to do the other way and put this one in the workshop and this one since this one takes two, two. and then here I go okay so just an example that you can place your, your, your cards in the order you want and move your brushes uh, with the, the arrow ability and, and paint whatever you, you need over there. And so all that decision making is happening before the next person yes, gets that's to take their cards. The, the order is really important in, in the game. Play order of course because you want to, to be able to pick the cards before the other players. And you want, but if you pick them before them, you will play before them and that could be good or bad. It could be good for uh, taking new diplomas. The diplomas are requirements uh, that uh, if you meet, you get you get reward for. Okay. So, for example, on the cards, I told you there were a background. There's also a subject. Here you have two animals. Ah. Uh, here you, you can have also characters like there's a geisha, a samurai. Uh, there's buildings, and there's let me find a tree. I'm, I'm positive that the tree is here. <laughs> it's always gonna be the last one you look for. Yeah. So. Uh, so whenever you, you place a card, um, you look if uh, you meet requirements and you can take the diploma, the, the matching diploma uh, right now. If you don't want to take it, you won't be able to take it uh, anymore, later. Now let me uh, see if I can take a guess at how easy the symbols are to learn. I'm guessing it would be first person to have two different buildings. Of course, that's it. But you only allowed to have one of each color, one diploma of each color. So if you take this one and later on you build, you paint another building, you won't be able to take this one, okay? So there might be a reason to choose not to do it early. Yes. And, and of course, if you choose not to uh, to draw, to uh, take this one when you uh, draw three different building, but someone take this one before you can, well, you, you won't be able to take a, a yellow diploma in this game, okay? So the diplomas therefore, uh, different buildings, different or identical characters, characters, the right combinations of animals, um, the number of trees you have, two, three, four or five, and the other one um, for your, your workshop, the thing in your workshop, so the number of brushes you have, the number of arrows you have, and the number of identical uh, background skills you have, okay, background you, you, you must. So the game ends uh, whenever someone uh, placed 11 cards in his painting. Then uh, we score points. So you get one point per, for each uh, card you have in your painting. The longer the better, okay? Uh, then you score uh, points for the, those little symbols. Right. You know, they can be on the painting or in your, your workshop, the bonuses. Uh, you're going to score one point per card in your longest season. So you see ah. this. Uh, I've got a, a good strike. Let me show you something here. So here my longest season would be summer with one, two, three because it, the, the storm are uh, wild cards. Ah. Four. And there's three diplomas that's going to you with a small stone token that you can use at the end of the game to um, join two split season of the same card. So now we've made that four card summer into a six card yes. summer. That's it. Um, and of course the points from the diplomas. And you I'm guessing most points wins. Yes, exactly. And there's just one thing is the first player because I, I really like this mechanism. There are two first player tokens. The big one is for the current first player and the small one is for the future first player. Mm. Whenever you play uh, this symbol, you take this from whoever has it, and whoever has it at the end of the round gets the big one. So the later you play, the more chance you have to, to, uh, to become the next player because you can steal the, the, this little guy from the guy who, who had it before. 
Fantastic. Well, Matthew, I'm really excited that we also uh, get to try this one out myself in our house. But uh, if you guys want to check this out, this is Katagawa, which is published by Yellow Games. And thank you for letting us take a look. You're welcome.